Have you ever wondered what could replace the legendary B2 spirit? The same one that remained a ghost to enemy radars for years? Well, listen carefully, because the Americans have already sent its successor into the skies, and it's something entirely different from what we're used to seeing. This is the B-21 Raider, and it's not just another stealth bomber, it's a true phantom, undetectable even by the most advanced air defense systems. Imagine an aircraft that consumes less fuel than the B-2 but has several times the range. It can strike deep behind enemy lines without needing to refuel, while even satellites remain unaware of where it came from. Its power plant is something truly unique. It's known that it relies on Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines, but there's one catch. No one has yet revealed the exact thrust specifications. Rumor has it that the Raider utilizes a new adaptive power management system, allowing it to operate almost silently at high altitudes. The B-21 Raider is the first strategic bomber in more than three decades. It is a testament to America's enduring advantages in ingenuity and innovation. And now for the most intriguing part, how does it manage to be even stealthier than the B-2? Its airframe design has been further simplified, making it cleaner and free of unnecessary protrusions, but the real magic lies in its coating. While the B-2 required constant maintenance after every flight, the B-21 features a next-generation stealth material that literally self-heals when exposed to the environment. This means enemy radars don't just fail to detect it, they can't even determine when it's passed through a given area. It will operate in tomorrow's high-end threat environment, and it will enable America to outmaneuver, to outpace, and to outmatch our adversaries. It will deter aggression. And now tell me, how surprised would you be if I said this aircraft could operate without a pilot? Yes, it still has a cockpit, but that's only so a human can occasionally sit in it. In reality, the Raider is fully integrated into the U.S. autonomous combat systems. It can be remotely controlled or even completely entrusted to AI, which independently decides how to maneuver and what targets to strike. Sarah Connor would probably already be running for cover after hearing this, but unlike Skynet, this artificial intelligence isn't designed to destroy humanity. It's built to protect it. The most fascinating part? This aircraft has already been tested on a real mission. It's just a rumor, but there's talk that in 2023 it appeared in an area where it wasn't supposed to be, and then it simply vanished, as if it had never been there. No one speaks about it openly, but military analysts hint that the Raider is on an entirely new level of stealth. Some even speculate that it employs advanced electronic warfare tactics, hacking enemy systems and making radars see nothing but an empty sky. Do you realize what this means? If the B-2 Spirit was the king of stealth bombers, then the B-21 Raider is more like a real ghost. Do you realize what this means? One that leaves nothing but a shadow in military reports. And while we're talking about it, it might already be up there in the sky, but no one will know until it's too late. Hey, be honest, are you watching this video on your phone or on a TV? Because here's the thing, 98% of people just scroll through videos, skipping the chance to be a part of something bigger. They hit watch next and stay trapped in the same content stream programmed by artificial intelligence. But you're not just a regular viewer, are you? So if you're watching on your phone, look at the bottom right corner of your screen. You'll see the channel logo, one tap on it, and you're in the group of those who know more. And if you're in front of a TV, just press up on your remote and select the channel logo. You'll see the subscribe button right there. But in the end, the choice is yours. Stay in the stream or break free from the matrix. Now let's get to the main topic of the video. Military operations are usually built on a balance between risk and effectiveness. Let's recall Operation Allied Force in Yugoslavia in 1999 when the B-2 Spirit conducted strategic bombing missions without fighter escort. Its goal was to penetrate deep into enemy territory and deliver precision strikes on key infrastructure while bypassing what were then state-of-the-art air defense systems. The B-2 successfully completed its mission, but it required extensive planning, mid-air refueling, and lengthy ground maintenance after each flight. Had the B-21 Raider been available during that operation, the mission could have been significantly more efficient, faster, and safer. So the first major advantage, next-generation stealth technology. If the B-2 avoided detection through its shape and materials, the B-21 takes it to an entirely new level. 
Its stealth coating doesn't just absorb radar waves, it adapts to environmental changes. Imagine it as the real-world Neo from the Matrix rewriting the code itself while older aircraft merely tried to navigate around it. In an operation like this, the B-21 could have entered Yugoslavian airspace without relying on an extensive electronic warfare group because its own sensors and stealth coating make it virtually undetectable even by today's most advanced detection systems. Another key factor, autonomy. While the B-2 required pilots and ground-based coordinators, the Raider can operate without a human on board using artificial intelligence to make real-time decisions. An autonomous B-21 can assess threats, adjust its route, and even determine which type of munitions to deploy based on mission parameters. Speed and mobility are also critical. The Raider isn't a supersonic aircraft, its cruise speed is around 620 miles per hour, similar to the B-2. But thanks to enhanced aerodynamics and new Pratt & Whitney engines, it can conserve fuel and operate much longer without refueling. For Operation Allied Force, this would have meant eliminating the need for mid-air refueling, removing a major vulnerability. In past missions, aerial tankers were prime targets for enemy interceptors, but with the B-21's extended range, those risks would have been significantly reduced. Weaponry, where the B-21 leaves everyone behind. When it comes to firepower, the B-21 is in a league of its own. While the B-2 carried JDAM precision-guided bombs and a limited selection of cruise missiles, the Raider can launch AGM-158 JASM ER with a range of over 560 miles. Think about that. It doesn't even need to enter enemy airspace. It can fire its missiles from international airspace, and they'll find their target on their own. If this technology had been available during the 1999 Belgrade bombings, it would have drastically reduced risks for pilots and eliminated the need for such extensive mission planning. And finally, electronic warfare. The B-21 can jam enemy radars, creating a radio silence effect where the adversary doesn't even realize that their systems are feeding them false data. It's like that moment in The Matrix when Morpheus showed Neo that reality can be rewritten. But the Raider doesn't just alter reality, it makes the enemy believe it never existed in the first place. If the B-21 Raider had been used during Operation Allied Force, it would have autonomously chosen its route, executed a strike from hundreds of miles away, and returned without the need for refueling. The enemy wouldn't have even had a chance to realize what had happened. The B-2 Spirit was a ghost, but the Raider, it's a shadow that never existed. So the B-21 isn't just another stealth bomber. It's a revolution in military aviation, making traditional air warfare tactics obsolete. It's invisible, autonomous, and capable of striking from a safe distance, remaining nothing more than a phantom the enemy will never be able to track.